guys, in today's micro lecture, we are going to talk about taking somebody's uh, core body temperature using a digital thermometer. Now, this is something that you will be taught in the workshops again and give, be given a chance to practice this. However, taking a body temperature is a really, really important and useful skill from a paramedic's perspective. Think about the typical situations that you're, you're going to find. You need to differentiate between somebody having a cardiac chest pain and a respiratory chest pain. That's the most obvious example I can use. On most occasions, patients having um, chest infections or some kind of infection will have a raised body temperature. So if somebody's complaining to you with a, ch a chest pain and giving you signs and symptoms of a chest infection, in other words, sharp, stabbing, um, shortness of breath, coughing, um, mucus, you need to be taking a temperature. So let's take a look at some of the temperatures uh, devices that are on the market, thermometer devices that are on the market. Now this one here is an ear thermometer or a tympanic thermometer. Now these devices here are actually placed, you, you, are, you place an ear probe over the top. Now some of them actually will automatically turn on when you place that probe over the top. Then you put, place it into the patient's ear, you do what's called a, uh, a tug a tragus tug, so you lift it upwards to expose the, the, the canal, the ear canal, place it into the patient's ear, and then you press one of the buttons. Now, it really is as simple as that. It will automatically give you a core body temperature. Now, we, we talk in core body temperature um, because that's the most important one to measure. Peripheral body temperature, which in other words, when you touch a patient and you feel either hot or cold, is not really that useful when trying to measure uh, a person's temperature. Now this one here is a sublingual temperature uh, thermometer. Now these sublingual thermometers go underneath the tongue, sublingual under the tongue, because there is a pocket of heat there. Now the idea is that you, you place it under the patient's tongue, you leave it there for a number of seconds, and again it measures the patient's core body temperature. Let me go back a, a step because I want to show you guys how many different types of device there are on the market. And of course, it very much depends on your ambulance service as to which one they will use. So some of these are not uh, electronic thermometer, core body temperature. It's really useful to do this because then you get an idea of what's available. The most commonly used ones in my experience are these ones here that you put into the ear um, and these sublingual ones are generally used in nursing practice. But regardless of which one you use, the, the process and the skill of taking a core body temperature is really, really important to you as a paramedic. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. I hope you found that useful. My name's Sam Willis and I look forward to speaking to you again shortly. Thanks guys.